Welcome back y'all to the second part of this tutorial on how to connect to a server in Xandronum using Delta Touch. In the last part we looked at connecting to a server through the in-game server browser. In this part we'll uh, cover how to connect to a server manually through the command line parameters. This process is fairly simple to do as long as you can remember the basics and the command words. Which in this case uh, we only have to remember one command word, so it makes it pretty easy. Now first off, what do I mean by command line parameters? Uh, first off, uh, if you look on the bottom left of the screen, the dash iwad doom2.wad is a parameter. Um, command line parameters are basically uh, startup commands that tell the engine to change its default behavior. Uh, and that can be anything like uh, specifying a particular iwad to use, uh, if you want it to load it up uh, starting on a particular skill setting or setting you off on a particular map, or recording or playing a demo, loading any custom PWADs, all stuff like that, uh, hosting a game, joining a game, all those are all uh, command line parameters. Um, so for starters, make sure that you place your required files in either the maps or mods folders as you normally would for regular use. From there, we'll load up the WADs as if we were going to do regular uh, single play. As always, make sure you load WADs in the correct order. Stuff loaded last overrides was loaded first in cases of resource and other conflicts. Generally, you always want to load maps first and mods last, with the most important and or specialized mods last. In this case, I believe all three mods that we're using are uh, do, don't conflict with one another. So, uh, it's, so it wouldn't really matter for if we were doing like a single play. However, since we're joining in a multiplayer server, we want to make sure that we load everything in the correct load order. Um, so we're going to load up all four required files. And uh, the first one is going to be Dual 40B. The uh, second one is going to be Connect Sound Effects. And after that, we're going to be looking for the new text colors. And then the Xandra Spree. All right, now we got all those load, all four of the required files loaded up. From there, we'll go over to the custom arguments and punch in some additional parameters. <clears throat> we only need one in this case, and that's going to be plus connect, and then it's going to be the IP address followed by a colon and uh, and the port. And of course, always put a space in between the command and uh, whatever the command is to do. So it's going to be plus connect space 45.33.41.203 uh, colon 16.369. All right, now we can go ahead and exit out of that and double check that everything is all good and down in the uh, bottom left. Um, double check that everything is loaded in the correct order, you're connecting to the right thing. Double check your IWAD, make sure that you're starting off on the right thing there, and then go ahead and hit the play button. Uh, from here it will take you in-game, same as the first method did. Uh, unfortunately my phone stops recording when I do this, so I can't really show that right now, but I've tested it many times, including right before I did this, and it works. Uh, the other method is probably a lot less work and more convenient than this, but I felt this was a a uh, very important method to show as well. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below, and I'll help to the best of my ability. But beyond that, Doom World is a great source of knowledge with a lot of smart folks who know a lot about the Dooms. So if something is beyond my, my knowledge, my advice would be to go there and see what you can find. I hope these two videos will be of some help to folks setting this up for the first time. Thank you for watching, and good luck and have fun.